It's my honor and pleasure to introduce Bill Belichick. What I do know is that this team has good talent and a lot of resources, a strong commitment by the ownership to win, and that's what I'm here to do. Well, my expectations are every time we walk onto the field, I expect that our football team's going to win. I've never coached a team where I've walked out there feeling like we don't have a chance to win. I'm searching for something which can't be found, but I'm hoping. Uh, Robert and I, after a you know a series of discussions, have uh, mutually uh, agreed to um, part ways. And uh, for me, this is a day of um, you know gratitude and celebration. Greetings, Patriots fans, and welcome to a bonus episode of Patriots Afterthoughts. If you are seeing this in video form, you're getting a look at this mug for the first time. And uh, I tell you, as I ended the last episode, I had mixed feelings. I wasn't sure where we were going, but I was predicting uh, that Bill would return to the New England Patriots. And much like I predicted that Tom Brady would come back to the New England Patriots, Patriots, I was wrong. I get wrong a lot. Or I am wrong a lot. I don't even think I said that right. I even saying that I'm wrong, I was wrong. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words here. Uh, I really went in with no plan. I just wanted to record something to get my thoughts out. And I'm trying my best to get these actual thoughts out of my head. Uh, I'm sad. I'm just sad. Now, when Tom left, it was a rough, it was rough. It was like, okay, well, here we go. This is the end of an era. Now what? Let's see what this team has to offer. Because at that point, we were one year away from a Super Bowl. There was a Super Bowl, a loss in the playoffs, and then boom, we're on to something new. And, you know, at the same time, the world shut down, so I was like half into football, half didn't care if sports came back, half needed it to come back, all that fun stuff. But even though Tom left, a player left, the team still felt like this is this is the team I love. These are still the New England Patriots. Uh, it is still it felt like it was still the the same franchise, for lack of a better word that I had been a fan of my entire life, but the same identity that it had going back till 2000. Uh, of course, more in 2001. Because Bill was still there. He was still running the show. He still had his coaching staff that was a majority of the same people. Uh, you know, they came and went. Josh was still there right at the beginning. Uh, and some players that we knew were coming back as coaches, there were still players that, that won Super Bowls that were on this team. It felt like the Patriots, just with a bit of a facelift, a major facelift. And of course, the first year they get Mac, they go to the playoffs. Okay, we're back. This is where we want to be. Things haven't worked out since then. Um, and it just felt like there were a middling to lower tier team these these last two years uh, but it still felt like the Patriots the identity and that all stems to Bill Belichick. Now today January 11th 2024 that identity is gone. I love this team. I will continue to love this team but it's like, it really is feeling like, oh, we're meeting a new, you know, a new beginning. More than, more than Brady. It really is because 
it's the man who puts the team together that's gone. Now there's going to be new people putting together a new team. How many people, how many players are going to be back? You know, two years from now, is there going to be anybody from this year on that year? I would damn well hope, uh, especially these young guys. But it's not really about the future. Today, this episode isn't really about the future. You can tell I really haven't talked too much or, or planned too much of this. This episode is about just expressing gratitude. I have gratitude for what Bill Belichick brought to Patriots fans and to New England, bringing Tom Brady in and changing the face of this franchise and the face of, of the NFL. Uh, 24 years. You know, I was telling someone that, uh, I was telling my nephew that, and he is, uh, oh my God, he will be 12 this year. And um, I was telling him, you know, I pretty much my entire adult life, Bill has been the coach of the New England Patriots. He took the uh, team, he took over the team in 2000. A couple months later, I got married. Now, if anyone knows me, I'm not the most mature person in the world. Even I like to say mature because it makes me seem more mature. See what I did there? You know, I like comic books. I like, uh, I watch a lot of, I've been watching, I've been addicted to Lego Masters, not just American, Australian. I like uh, wrestling. I like superheroes. I like all kinds of silly stuff. Uh, but the one thing that makes me feel like a grown up is that I'm married to my wife, who is an adult. Uh, and I mean that, you know, obviously she's an adult, but I mean like mentally, she's an adult as well. Like she doesn't, she's not into all these, these childish, silly things that I like. So I always think of myself as really becoming an adult in the year 2000. Now in 99, I took, I got my first real job that I'm still in today. In 2000, I got married, got a house, did all the, did all the adult things. And that was the year that Bill Belichick took over for the Patriots. It seems like five lifetimes ago. I've moved up and down the, the eastern coast. I've moved into houses, into apartments, into condos, back and forth. The one fixture, fixture, stable fixture, was Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. And then, of course, for the last four years, Bill Belichick. And now that's gone. And that's the weird thing where it's like nobody is prepared for what's going to happen next. Five years with the team, you know, you think, oh, well, I remember before this, I remember before that, but, and of course I remember before Bill. I remember Parcells, I remember P. Carroll, I remember going, my memory of Patriots goes back to, um, to, to Barry, Barry the Bears. That's my first coach that I remember. Um, and of course, I really started paying attention uh, when Dick McPherson took over. Okay, yes, I went to some Dick McPherson games. I really started paying attention when Bill Belichick took, when Bill Parcells took over. That's when the team became something, started getting the attention of the world. Um, and of course, when Bill and Tom took over, you know, it went through the stratosphere. So that's when this team became like the number one team, I feel like, in all of New England. Um, coaches for all the other teams have come and gone. They've won championships, but the coaches have come and gone and you're like, wow, this coach is gone. You know, uh, oh, wow. Um, you know, Frank Cohn is gone. Um, Claude, Claude Julien is gone. Uh, uh, Doc Rivers is gone. You see these coaches that win championships and they go, but the but time moves on. You move on. This one feels different because it's been so long. The amount of teams, the amount of coaches that have come into the league since then, the amount of players who have played, retired, their sons have played and retired maybe even, since then is astronomical. There's nothing that touches this. The closest thing, of course, is the Steelers. Tomlin's been there forever. And before that, Coach Cower. I mean, what, do they only have three coaches or something like that, the entire thing? I think that is an awesome statistic. But nothing, that's the closest thing you're going to get to this. Nothing, I feel like, will in New England will ever be the same. 
you know, obviously it was never the same after Tom left. But you saw them get to the playoffs. You thought, okay, we're building something. It didn't work out. Nothing will um, come close to what we had. And the fact that I got to um, see these Super Bowls, see these championships. You know, I remember when the Red Sox won their first World Series, uh, my my grandfather just you know, a couple of years before passed away, and he didn't. He never got a chance to see them win a World Series. He never got a chance to see any of this. He missed the Patriots, the, the Bruins, the Celtics all coming back, the Red Sox, all of it. Um, but I did get a chance to watch all of these championships uh, and, and experience a lot of them with my friends and with my father-in-law. And these are memories that you can't, that just, you can't replace and could never be taken away. So when everyone talks about, oh, it's over, oh, this is that, oh, Brady carried Belichick, Belichick carried Brady, whatever you want to say, real, true New England fans don't care. We got to see our team go to 10 Super Bowls, with this, with the Brady Belichick, we got them see, to see them go to. Well, we got to see them go to eleven Super Bowls, um, but with Kraft, ten. The first one with Barcells and Bledsoe, then nine Super Bowls with Bill and Tom, and they won six of them. It's ridiculous. It is, um, you know, it's it, it's unprecedented. We'll never see anything like this again, and I'm just grateful. That's all I can say. Is I'm happy. I'm sad for what today is. I'm sad that today uh, Belichick, um, obviously, is no more with the Patriots. Um, but I'm so grateful that we got this. We got something that any other sports fan in the world would would die to have. Maybe not literally, but you know what I mean. And we got it. We've been spoiled. And maybe someday we'll we'll be spoiled again. Probably not, but you never know. I'm a Patriots fan. I'm sad that Bill's gone. I'm grateful for everything he gave us. But I'm not going to give up on this team. I'm a Patriots fan, and I'm ready for next season, and that's it. You might not hear from me for a while on this uh, Patriots Afterthoughts podcast, but if you're here on YouTube, I hope you subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's at Fans Not Experts. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitter at Mikey underscore C. You can fo- follow the podcast on Twitter at Patriots underscore pod. Maybe there will be uh, little bonus episodes coming because this off season is unprecedented, like nothing we've ever had before. I don't care about the, the Tom leaving, Cam taking over, Mac taking over. Nothing is going to be like this with the number three pick and a new regime coming in. It will be interesting, and um, I'm going to be along for the ride because I love the Patriots. And that's it. So thank you for an unsuccessful football season, but uh, I still had fun doing the podcast, and I have fun making these videos now. I'm trying to really embrace the YouTube of everything, and uh, that's it. So um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much, Bill. And go pass. Fans not experts.